I feel like we all have one thing in common, which is yoga and our size. The first time I went to class, it just felt like a safe space. I found a lot of teachers did not know how to work with people of size. The word was, just keep on trying. But they didn't have a way of really helping me figure out why I had having a hard time doing this. Besides, oh, you've got a big belly. Oh, because you're tight. But that wasn't enough. He spent a year playing with the poses. It was like a lot of aha moments. Oh, if I let my belly rest on my thigh, it opens up my back. And in building my practice, I started teaching people what I figured out. And so I started the Buddha Body Yoga. I think that the key is to give options. A lot of people feel comfortable on the chair because that's always where they are. And a lot of our students are afraid to get down to the floor, mainly because they're afraid they won't be able to get up. So we work on that. With the straps, which I love. His back is like all curved, his head's down. So now do it the Buddha body yoga way, right? So he's holding on to the strap, right? And what you're seeing is lift in the back. One thing you could see right here is Michael. He has two small blocks under his knees. And without the blocks, you're still holding your knees up and, mm -hmm. and there's tension. But if you let the block be there, the hips can open up yeah. and relax. People who come to my classes are now going to other classes and they feel empowered to be able to yeah. say, all right, that doesn't feel good for me, I'm not gonna do that. Instructors never really knew what to do with me. <laughs> I even encountered instructors that wouldn't touch me or make adjustments just because they really just had no idea what to do with, you know, a fat body. Michael and Anita knew how to work with my body and my specific injuries. I just felt really comfortable and at home. We were doing sun salutations and as we were, you know, folding over and releasing our back, Michael said, put your belly on your thighs. That made sense for my anatomy. I can actually stand on one foot and bring my leg 180. That's awesome. All of my body weight on one leg. Never did I imagine being able to do that. What I do is self-practice pretty much every morning. And there's a point where you feel like you know yourself so much, it's become so intimate. Your mind meets your body. It's a beautiful moment. Those aha moments for me make my class.